information from the cable indicates that a house belonging to Sunday Adeyemo, youth leader and businessman popularly known as Sunday Igboho, in Oyo State was set ablaze. This was made known in a statement by Igboho's aides, who said the house got burned in the early house of Tuesday, adding that the incident could uh, a plot from the could be a plot from people who don't like what Igbo is doing to liberate Yoruba land from oppression. He also revealed that Igbo has two houses in Soka and is currently living in the new house, but the old one got burnt overnight. Sunday Igbo became more popular since he issued a seven-day ultimatum to headers in Ibarakwa local government area of Oyo State in another in Oyo State. In another report, after the ultimatum elapsed, the supporters stormed a Fulani settlement in the area, burned down the houses belonging to Seriki Fulani, and vandalized some of his cars. Meanwhile, Femi Fanekaudi has reacted to the burning down of Igbo's house. He condemned the attack and said that that is not the way to go about solution to the problems on the ground. Burning Igbo's house at 8:3 a.m. In the morning only proves that you are nothing but cowards and that you are running scared. I pray you do not get what you are looking for. War conflicts, bloodshed and carnage are best avoided. Let your madness stop here before it is too late. <laughs> wow. Let your madness stop here before it is too late. He said, I pray you do not get what you are looking for. War, conflicts, bloodshed, and carnage are best avoided. That is the best way to go. So let this your madness stop. Of course, uh, Igbo has uh, responded. He said, he believes that uh, some people are working, even some Yoruba people are working with this uh, so-called Fulanis. And they were even asking him from the interview he granted, were asking him if he was suspecting anybody. He said, no, say, but... Uh, according to what he was uh, asked again, that the land that the people came, we were speaking in outside, he said he couldn't say anything because it was not there, it was the people that were there, his voice that were there that saw the people and they ran, you know, they have to leave, they had to leave when they saw them coming. That, that means people really came. You know, we were thinking that uh, it could be power surge or something, but from the way things the way the things went, and people around that place were even thinking that uh, maybe war had started. So people, they came, it was a deliberate act to come and do what they did. So Fanny Kaida is saying, avoid all of these things and stop this, your madness. Whether you are collaborating with people or you are not collaborating with people, you just have to stop this. The Yorubas are the number one betrayers in the world. It is possible that some Yorubas who are not comfortable with the popularity of Sunday are the perpetrators of this action. Time will tell. It is now becoming political esme. May cannot burn Sunday. It is not becoming political. Yes, may cannot burn Sunday. Bogo's house. It needs to be investigated. Of course, yeah, that is what the governments at both federal and state level needs to do. Need to do immediately to avoid any impending doom. What makes you think they can they can't do that? Don't you know that um, those people are not wise at all? The fight has now started. Hmm. The war we have been calling for has started in earnest. This is a slap on all your leaders who wanted to sell their dignity for poverty. God let your anger descend on Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria and wiped away evil doers among those cowards Yoruba elders. The die is cast now. Who is next? Children of darkness. They are the oppressed. They are and operate in darkness, but the God who creates light and darkness and um, preferred light will surely expose them, the children of darkness. You know, and we began to hear some people from APC telling us that uh, he met with uh, Tinubu, this and this and this and that. We are going to talk about that at the end of the day. Again, you know, bringing, they will not, they will not be digging, that is what they do, they will not be going and be digging and be digging and be digging what is not supposed to be dug. At the end of the day, we are talking about problems of a lot of people, millions of people. No, they won't do that. They are beginning. Of, thank God that uh, the family of Jodu came out and began to tell us, uh, oh, this and this and that. And he has been able to reply him that it's like something is really wrong with the man upstairs. This uh, drums of war should stop for genuine dialogue, for peaceful resolution to take place. 
In my humble opinion, I do not think the burning of the house was done by the Fulani until investigations established otherwise. Uh, like he said, he said he, he, he couldn't even place anybody, he, he couldn't place anybody, or he couldn't even think of anybody who could have done that for us at that time when they were interviewing him. That he didn't know, maybe as at that time, but he couldn't say this are these people or these people, but there must be people who are collaborating with them. Of course, some people have come out to say, oh, what he's doing is not the right thing. Oh, the man is a talk, is this, is that. You that you are not a talk, why didn't you go and rescue your people? Or you didn't know that uh, the people in that particular area, they are, they are suffering. Is it only in that particular area? All over the country, all over the country, everyone is complaining, everybody is bitter. We only blame Esme as if we no longer have bad people or of Yoruba extractions. Of course, they are all over the place. They are all over the place. The reason why these people won't is much is that they are coming in drones. Have you ever heard that a, a Yoruba people in their large numbers, they will go to different, different, wandering all over the place or other tribes too. It is the same people and they are doing the same thing all over the place. And that is why it is like that. Of course, everybody knows that uh, they are not the only people. We have a, before now, we have kidnappers and they, they were not even living their own terrain. They were not doing it. They, they have a mixture of people. But this one, because of their occupation and maybe some people have infiltrated them. But if I thought that is the case, other, their other members are not even making matter uh, better. They are making matter worse because the way they even come and even be defending them, even maybe most of the time, the majority of them are not even know what is happening. But the way and their attitude also suggests that, and that has made people to continue to say, yes, you guys, there's something that you guys are really hiding. They call for war. They will be. There will be war saved, and they will be disgraced. Of recent, Amotekun again intercepted uh, some people, some so-called Fulani Esme. They told us that they are. Hunters, hunters from where? They told us that uh, they are from where? They are where? They are vigilante, vigilante, vigilante coming from Kebi. Is that not suspicious? We have uh, other vigilante from other groups. They don't move. So you be, you continue to do things that will make people to suspect you, and you are you'll be complaining. That is exactly what uh, we have been talking about. You can continue to say you continue to make people suspect you. Instead of you to just do the right thing and make sure that, you know, you clear yourself from all of those things. And this idea of uh, uh, trying to do what, trying to defend them, when obviously things, all these things are glaring. They are the ones that will surrender in their large numbers. They call them bandits. So, we know that uh, crimes are happening in other places, but the manner at which it happens is not the way these people are going about this whole thing. So, guys, leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts concerning what Fanny Coyote has said.